My name is Neil Patwari, and this is ECE 5510 Random Processes. And in this video segment, I'm going to talk about multivariate Gaussian random vectors. And this is part one, the definition. We've talked about how I can have a random vector that lists elements x1 through xn in a column. It has a mean that's the expected value of each element, and it's also going to be a vector. So um, when I write this, it means the expected value of x1, the expected value of x2, all the way down to the expected value of xn. We also talked about covariance matrices that are an n by n matrix, listing every possible combination of the covariance between a pair of random variables in the vector x. Okay, now we're going to define what a Gaussian random vector is. And we're going to define it by its probability density function. Now the Gaussian random vector is just one type of random vector, but it plays a big part in engineering and statistics, and so it's going to be very important, and that's why we're going to spend time on it. So the definition is as follows. A random vector x uh, with length n Let's try this again. Length n is multivariate Gaussian. Um, sometimes I'm going to say multivariate Gaussian because I want to explicitly remind you that it's a vector. But sometimes if I just say Gaussian and you know it's a vector, then it's the same as if I had said multivariate Gaussian. It's multivariate Gaussian if it has PDF as follows. PDF is fx of x. It's going to be 1 divided by the square root of 2 pi to the n and the determinant of the covariance matrix. And then it's going to be multiplied by e to the minus 1 half x minus its mean transpose the inverse of the covariance matrix times x minus its mean again. And x minus its mean is a vector. So I'm putting these underlines in. And this is the definition. The determinant, just as a reminder, of a matrix is as follows. So if I have a 2 by 2 matrix, uh, let's call it A, B, C, D, that determinant is A, D minus C, B. And if I have higher uh, bigger size matrices, of course, this formula gets more complicated, but just to remind you what the determinant means. Okay, now compare this to the PDF of a single Gaussian random variable, say x1. That was that we take 1 divided by the square root of 2 pi times sigma x1 squared and then we multiplied that by e to the minus x minus its mean, x1 minus its mean, squared, divided by 2 times the variance. Okay, how does this compare? Well, with a single random variable, the covariance matrix is just the variance. Okay, and that variance of x1 is what we're writing as sigma x1 x1 squared. And so when I take the determinant of the covariance, it's just the number itself. It's just sigma x1 squared. And so when I plug in here, I could replace this with the determinant of cx. And in addition, when I just have a single, a one by one matrix, its inverse is just one over that number. So when I when I have one, I, first of all, I have the minus one half here. It gets transferred to here. Let me draw this in. So this minus one half is what's giving us the two in the denominator here. This cx inverse is what's giving us this uh, sigma x1 squared in the bottom here, because it, when I take the inverse of sigma x1 squared, I just get one over sigma x1 squared. And when I have uh, just a one by one vector, x minus its mean, it's just a single scalar number, 
when I take the transpose, nothing happens. So I take x minus its mean, I multiply it by x minus its mean again, I get x minus its mean squared. So you can see how these two definitions are the same for the, for the case that n equals 1. That's all we're going to talk about in this video. Next time, we're going to talk about the properties of Gaussian random vectors.